Welcome back to Time Out with GC. My guests are Guy and Jordan Byrne, the Chairman and Vice Chairman of Hellenic Football Club. Um, we were just talking now during the ad break, uh, the players that have come through your books that have made it pro. I mean, Rashun Daruk, we spoke about him, Craig Martin. It's also Shane Roberts, and you've got Nikki Tavares, who have also playing overseas. So Hellenic has really, over the years, produced players who have gone on to become pros. Absolutely. I think that's also an historic uh, element of Hellenic Football Club. If you go back in its original um, existence, they, they consistently produced top-class players, which did extremely well for Hellenic, and also obviously moved on previously to other high-end clubs in, in South Africa and overseas. Um, you know, we got if you take someone like Lance Davids, for example, you know, had a fantastic career overseas and for the national team and obviously still involved in football today. So it's brilliant. It's a, just another success story of Hellenic in its entirety. And that's exactly where the focus is for us to make sure that we keep going in the same direction, picking up where everyone left off before. Lance Davids now an agent also. That's correct. Uh, Jordan, let's talk about uh, COVID. And there must have been so many challenges where no football happening. You've still managed to keep the high performance and the Hellenic Football Club going. And at the end of the day, finances play a big role. Absolutely. So it was unfortunate that we, I mean, obviously with the high performance school, we would love to be in touch one on one with players. We want to be working with them hands on. Um, obviously, that was not a lot that COVID didn't allow for that. So. We had to make other plans and think on our feet and we were in touch with, as I mentioned earlier, someone from Germany, also top level coach, very involved in the European structure. And we were sending out videos um, of specific drills that, are, that they're working on overseas. So we know it's cutting edge, we know it's the latest and the greatest and formed groups on WhatsApp with all of our high performance players and sent out these videos and, and re requested that they send back at a certain time showing us how they did it and be it in their garden in their lounge we got videos from people in the lounge on in their driveway wherever they could find it and that just shows the level of commitment from our players as well that they're willing to go to whatever ends that they need to to do to continue the training even though we couldn't be in contact with them. you both are young siblings in the Byrne family, the Byrne name, the legacy. As you round up our conversation and you're taking over from your pops, because he's set the path for you, like his dad did. Man, you both are young. What are you hoping to achieve with the Lenick and the Mark Byrne High Performance School in the next five to ten years? I mean, chairman with earrings. I mean, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure my father wouldn't be too happy about that, but should have taken them off for the interview. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, listen, I think the biggest thing is that despite the fact that neither of us actually were able to go on and be the, have our dreams achieved in terms of being professional footballers, as I think most young kids have that dream. Especially if your dad is Mark Burnham, your grandfather You know, there's always that little bit burn. of expectation and pressure from others mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. But you know what? It wasn't meant to be that way. But you know what? The passion is there and you can't take that away. So if we weren't meant to be the players that we could have been, we're going to show it and, and use it in another way. Do you at least play PlayStation? That's, mm. uh, let's not go there. <laughs> let's not go there. <laughs> yeah, um, it's, it's, it's a challenge. It definitely is a challenge. Um, the standards have been set really high. Um, the brand is a very big brand. There's a lot of expectation. There's a lot of eyes on, especially after you know coming out of a time like we've just had now where there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of clubs are picking up the pieces, a lot of players have missed out on massive parts of their youth career. You know, there's players who've missed out on big tournaments, which normally would be the springboard for them where that opportunity might come you guys about. Are also, you're also planning to do an overseas trip during 2019 and 2020, yeah. yeah. That's correct. Yeah. So, you know, there's been a lot of things put on hold um, and you can never really get that time back, obviously, but we will definitely be doing whatever we can to try and fast track those and give them that same opportunity that they've missed out on, while at the same time obviously ensuring that those players that are coming through get the same opportunity. So five years, 10 years, I think it would be hard to tell. We're still gonna see the effects of this last year for the next couple of years at least, you know, in, in all spheres of life, but specifically obviously in football, we're gonna have kids who have missed, who have now coming back, they gotta catch up, they gotta 
they want that opportunity, we've got to make sure we can deliver on that. So keeping their standards high, the same level of intensity, the same expectations, and when that preparation meets the opportunity, off they go, on to the next best thing. Siblings normally have rivalries, but you have to work together because you're chairman and vice chairman. You were giggling when I was talking about becoming a pro and the footsteps. From your side, from the Mark Byrne High Performance School, your visions are there. What is your vision? I think the vision is, is very similar to Hellenic in that we stick to what we are good at, we stick to what we know, we stick to what we have always known and that has been passed down from generations. Um, we will never waver on that either and I think in sticking to that we will produce without, without trying and that's always been the case. With the high performance school same story. I think we'll just continue to work individually with our players, smaller groups. I think we'll continue to invest as much as we can. I think we'll continue to uh, exp uh, experiment with new technologies and new facets of training, new understandings of how players and people work. Because at the end of the day, our players are actually people. And to and uh, it's in the name. It's uh, it's high performance. How do we get our players to perform in all circumstances, in all situations, and I think the, the recipe that we have at the moment is working. It can obviously be improved and it will be, but stick to what we know and hopefully five to ten years we'll be even bigger, better, stronger as a brand and as a club. I feel like I need to change my ID number to be younger. <laughs> <laughs> Guy Byrne and Jordan Byrne, thank you so much for chatting to us, man. Uh, all the best with Lenik and uh, the much. Mark Byrne High Performance uh, School. And I know that together you guys are going to be a huge success. And uh, you. make your dad proud and your, great, uh, your grandfather also proud. So thank you for joining us in thank the studio. Thank you very much for the time. Thank you, Gersh. Appreciate it. All right. We're chatting to Edris Burton. We'll continue our football matters, UEFA Champions League, and so much more.